Hi everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make your very own rock candy. Now, what you're gonna need is, first, a lot of sugar. You're going to need three cups of sugar. You are going to need one cup of water. You are going to need two cylinder-like glasses. I'm using jars, but you can also use drinking glasses as long as it's nice and cylinder-like. You are going to need some food coloring if you would like your rock candy to have some color. This part is optional. You can use some flavoring for your rock candy if you would like to use some, if you would like it to have some flavor. I'm using lemon for one of my rock candies. You're going to need a couple clothespins and a couple cake pop sticks, but you can also use skewers, wooden skewers, or you can use popsicle sticks. So let's get started. Okay, so what I've done is I have brought my one cup of water to boil. Now we're gonna start adding in our three cups of sugar, but we're going to do this half a cup at a time. So I'm going to take half a cup of sugar and put it into my boiling water. Now I'm going to stir the sugar into the water until it's dissolved. So we're going to put the sugar in multiple additions. Okay. So there's my half a cup of sugar. It's dissolved into the water. So I'm gonna add another half cup. So right now, I have added one cup of sugar and you're going to need three cups total. So I'm going to stir in my next half cup. And you want to make sure in between additions that your sugar is completely dissolved into the water. Okay, that looks good. So I'm adding in another half cup of sugar. So now I'm at one and a half cups. I'm going to mix that in. Now, eventually your water here is going to get thicker as the sugar dissolves into it. And that's what we want. And what's really important about this recipe is that you can make way more than two rock candy pieces like I'm going to show you. With this recipe, you can actually make quite a few. So please feel free to make more than just two pieces of rock candy out of this recipe. Okay, so that's dissolved. I'm going to add another half cup of sugar. Now I'm at two cups of sugar. I'm just going to reduce my heat a little bit. It's really important that you continue to stir this because you don't want anything to burn. So we only have one more cup of sugar to add into our water here. And as you might be able to tell, it's getting thicker as we go. So that's all dissolved, so I'm going to add in another half cup. Okay, only half a cup more sugar to go. Your mixture should be getting quite thick now. and it should start to look almost foggy. 
Again, it's really important that we wait until all of this sugar has dissolved before we add in our last half a cup of sugar. Okay, I think that's good. I'm now adding in my last half a cup of sugar. Use a spoon if you need to. And I'm just shaking my measuring cup so that it's quite flat on the top before adding it. So this is gonna be our last addition of sugar. So that's a total of three cups that we've added. So by this point, our mixture is quite thick and quite foggy looking. As soon as the sugar is for the most part dissolved, we are actually going to put it aside for 15 minutes to let it cool, cool down slightly, okay? Okay. So I think all my sugar has dissolved and I'm left with quite a thick mix of water and sugar here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to pour my sugar into a large measuring cup and I'm gonna set it aside for 15 minutes so I can let it cool. Okay, so what I've done is I have poured my sugar mixture into a giant measuring cup like this, and I've let it cool for 15 minutes. But please be careful, even though it has been cooling for 15 minutes, it's still very hot, so be careful not to touch it. Our next step is to actually prepare for the rock candy to go into our jars or glass cylinders. So what you'll need is you'll need to take your popsicle sticks, your cake pop sticks, or whatever you'll be using, and you're going to need to dip it in water. About half of it should go in water. Now, with some extra sugar on a plate, you're going to roll your stick into the sugar, like so. So you should have some sugar coating onto your stick. Gently tap some off and I'm just going to set it down here gently and I'm going to do the same thing for my other one. So what this does is it actually allows the crystals to form onto your stick. It makes it much easier for the crystals to form. So now that I've done that, I'm gonna put my sugar aside here. And now it's time to add some color and to add our sugar into our jars. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add yellow into my first one. Again, you can use whatever food coloring that you would like to use. I'm gonna put in two drops you don't need a lot. So I've got two drops of yellow. And now I'm going to put two drops of blue food coloring into my second jar. Okay. Now, if you're using flavoring, you're going to add that into your jars now. I'm only making one of my rock candies flavored. And again, I'm using lemon. Now you only want one drop of flavoring into your jar. As little as you can get. So I've got my lemon in there. Now it's time to add our sugar. So I've got my sugar mixture here and I'm just going to pour it in to each glass like so. Okay. Using two different spoons, I'm just going to mix. Okay. 
and you want to use two different spoons to mix so that you're not mixing your colors. So there's my blue, and now I'm gonna mix my yellow. Okay. So I'm just gonna show you closer up what these look like. So you should have however many jars you're using. I'm using two, two jars or cylinders full of your colors with your sugar. Now we're on to the last step. With your popsicle sticks or cake pop sticks, whatever you're using, we need to put it into our jars here. Now, a couple things to note about this step. You don't want your bottom of your stick to touch the bottom of your jar because you want to allow crystals to form on the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put my sticks in so that I can feel the bottom here and I'm gonna go slightly, move it slightly up and then using my clothespins I'm going to clip my stick so that, it's in, so that it's in place. Now I'm gonna try and show you here. See my stick, I'm not sure if you can really see that, but my stick is not quite at the bottom of the jar. It's probably about an inch away from the bottom of my jar. And if you don't like the placement, if you're too close to the bottom, for example, you can actually just move your stick up and down however far you need. Now for my next one. The same thing, I'm going to stick it in my sugar. Okay, I'm touching the bottom. Now I'm going to clip it so that it's not quite touching the bottom. It's again about an inch away from the bottom, okay? And feel free to move it down or up as you wish. Okay, so now it's a bit of a waiting game. You are going to let these form for about two to three days. Now the longer you let it sit in the sugar, the more crystals are going to form on your stick. So if you left it for two or three weeks, you can imagine that you'd have quite a few crystals grown onto your stick. But I'm gonna let mine sit for two to three days and I'll be back to show you the results. Okay everybody, welcome back. This part of the video is really exciting because we get to break open our rock candy to see how it has formed. So earlier on in the video, I said to let your rock candy cure for two to three days. That is the bare minimum. The longer you can let your rock candy sit, the more candy that is going to form on to your rock candy. So, these have been curing and sitting for exactly two weeks today. So what I highly recommend is if you can be really patient, let it sit for two weeks and then do this part of the video. So let's get started. So I'm gonna start with the blue. So I'm gonna remove my clothespin and right now in front of me, all I have is a bowl and a small spoon. So very carefully, I'm gonna try and do this in front of the camera so you can see, you are going to slowly start tapping the sugar that has formed at the top of your glass. Do not get too close to your stick. So do this very carefully around the edges. So we have broken through the top part here and 
This is where you are going to pour the liquid sugar into the bowl in front of you. Okay. And as you can see, lots of rock candy has formed on this particular stick. I'm just gonna get that part out of the way. Pour a little extra out. So lots of rock candy has formed on my stick, as you can see. Now, if you're really, really lucky, you'll be able to wiggle your stick here and get it off the bottom of the jar. But that's not always the case. So after I do the yellow one here, I will show you how to get this off the bottom of the jar. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing with the yellow one here. And I'm just gonna pour my liquid sugar into the same bowl, that's fine. So again, I'm gonna carefully tap around my stick to break through the barriers here. Just like that. I'm gonna pour my liquid sugar out into my bowl. And as you can see, wow, <laughs> that is a lot of rock candy that has formed at the bottom of my <laughs> stick here. So again, if you're lucky, you'll be able to wiggle it loose off the bottom, but that's not the case. So now what you have to do is, you need to run the bottom of your jar under hot water, or you could fill a bowl with hot water and let them sit in hot water, just the bottom, so just till about there. After some time, you will be able to wiggle it loose to get it off the bottom of the jar. So I'm just gonna show you one more time. There's my rock candy. It has worked out really, really well. I've got lots of crystallation here, especially on this yellow one, as you can see. So I'm gonna let these sit in hot water until I'm able to wiggle them loose. Now, please be careful when you're wiggling them loose. You don't want to accidentally break your rock candy. So be patient, let it sit in hot water until you can carefully wiggle it out of the jar. So I will let these sit and I will be back to show you the final results. Okay, everybody, I have let my jars soak for quite some time in hot water here and I have chiseled them out of the jar. So I haven't actually shown you this one yet, the pink one. So at the same time as making these two, I made this one because I had a little bit extra sugar. So yeah, that's why you haven't seen it yet, but here it is. And um, yeah, these turned out really, really nicely. Um, look how much they actually sparkle. And um, I got quite a bit of sugar on them, especially my yellow one here. I got tons of crystallization here. So that's going to be very yummy because that's my lemon flavored one. So yeah, those are my results. Um, it worked out quite well. So yeah, again, I would suggest maybe, yeah, it depends how much candy you want. These were sitting for two weeks. Um, but maybe I would suggest one week. Maybe it would be a little bit easier to get out of the jar if you're finding that you're having a little bit of trouble. But yeah, um, it's really up to you how long you let them sit for. Um, yeah, so I would say one to two weeks. Um, the longer you let them sit, the more candy you're gonna get. 
But yes, it was lots of fun and I really look forward to seeing some photos of your rock candy that you make. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.